I know skill moves and I'm able to do them in the practice arena. But when I go into the match, I'm not able to do them either because of the opponent pressing me or I lose easy balls in my skill. Can you explain how to practice and even get better at skill moves? Well, my friend and those watching, your boy again has you covered. Three men around him to somehow find some space for another fantastic opening. The drive back. He's made himself the tiniest bit of space. Almost feels like a bit of a toy. Didn't really go for him. Oh! It's a display game. Absolutely ridiculous. The last to go on the goal line. We talked about Aussie Super, he's not here to make up the numbers. You're focusing too much on the defender. This is the biggest mistake I see when it comes to dribbling, taking a touch, skill, moves, whatever it is. Because if you focus too much on the defender, you're going to naturally swerve the player towards him or skill towards him. There was an analogy I did in a dribbling tutorial earlier in the year and I think it best describes what this video is about. When skiers go down a hill they are focusing on the path not the tree. If they focus on the tree their hand-eye coordination naturally swerves to the tree. This is exactly the same with touches, with skill moves and with dribbling. When it comes to skill moves always look at the space and this will help you determine, predetermine as well, what skill move is best to use in that certain situation. Depending on where the space is will depend on what skill move you'll need. If the space is to the left and you've stopped the ball, the elastico will be the best bet. If the space is to the right and you've stopped the ball, the reverse elastico will be your best bet. And that's all determined by whether the player is a right footer or not. Because I don't know, because as you guys know, left footed skill moves are in the game. These are all aspects that you need to take into consideration when performing skill moves. Yes, I would say 20% of your vision needs to focus on defenders because you do you still need to know where they are positioned to determine and predetermine what skill moves to use but when it comes to a general rule that you want to follow focus on where the holes are focus on the space and that will help you decide and choose what skill moves to use out of your attacking arsenal I hope it made sense it's short but sweet I'm coaching one-on-one on, one on patreon.com if you want to be a part of that the link is down below I work one-on-one -on -one with you and I'm getting people prepared for EAFC so be sure to prepare with me. I'm out. Sayonara. Au revoir. Adios. Salam ciao. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. And lastly, if you do want any pre-gaming fuel or supplement, then head over to atpscience.com, which is the first link in the description, and use the code DILLINETSATP at checkout to get yourself a discount. Not only is it the cheapest way to get supplements, but it helps me out a ton, guys. So, thank you.